YouTube, this is my wrap-up video for June, July, July. <laughs> What month is it? So I didn't read that many books this month. I only read five books because it was busy with VidCon and summer stuff going on, but I still managed to read five books, so that was great. The other thing is that most of the books I read this month, I am either lending to someone right now or were audiobooks, so I have very little to hold up in this video. That's fine. So the first book that I read this month was Lumberjanes by... Who did Lumberjanes? Noelle Stevenson. So Lumberjanes is a graphic novel that I'd been wanting to read for a very long time because I heard wonderful things about it and it's always sort of lumped in with a bunch of other graphic novels that I like, like Saga and Rat Queens. Lumberjanes is about a bunch of girls who are at a sleepaway camp. The sleepaway camp is called Miss Quinzilla Thwith Thisquins Peniquical Thistle Crumpets Camp. I can't say most of those words. Basically, these girls go out into the woods and all of this crazy stuff happens and their cabin leader, who's kind of uptight, gets really mad at them for running away and not following the rules. And when they try to explain about all the crazy stuff that happens to them, they get sent to see the head of the camp, who they think they're gonna get in trouble with, but then, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but turns out to be pretty awesome. So anyway, Lumberjanes is delightful and charming, and it's got kick-ass lady type characters. If you love graphic novels or just love things with lots of female characters, I definitely recommend that you give Lumberjanes a try. Then I read The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. This I actually listened to on audiobook, and it was really good. I, I thought that the narration for the audiobook was really, really good. I actually read it because it was sort of one of the like top books for audiobooks for the year and I ultimately really liked this book. I think I gave it about a four because I loved the beginning and I loved the end and I loved the way that it all came together at the end. There was a period in the middle where I got a little bit lost and sometimes this can happen with audiobooks, you know, my mind will just wander because I'm thinking about stuff at work or whatever. I, th I feel like this one you know, the beginning and end really gripped me, and like that part in the middle I just kind of had to power through, but ultimately it was worth it because it was a beautiful story. I really can't say much about this story without spoiling things that happened pretty early on, but it's really good. Okay, this is the only book that I actually have to hold up for this video, and it is Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas, uh, which is the third book in the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. I was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted to read. I kind of picked up and put down a lot of books in July because I just couldn't, I couldn't figure out what I was feeling like. And so I actually read a number of George Nicholson books, this one being the first of which. What was interesting about this particular book is that in this one I started really re realizing that Georgia is like the worst person. Like she's a 14 year old girl, so she's not the worst person, she's a 14 year old girl. But she's terrible to her parents and to her friends and she thinks so many things that I just wanna like shake her and be like, when you're older you're gonna be embarrassed. And so I, it bothers me that I don't remember being like outraged by some of the stuff that she does and says as a kid. And there are some like light amounts of homophobia in this book. I mean these were written a while ago. I just I worry that it's not just the way that Georgia feels and I kind of wonder how the author feels about these things. But it is very interesting to read this book keeping in mind that it's about 14 year old girls because you have to like you have to remove yourself from the way that you think about the world now and think about how you thought about the world when you were 14. So it's been a very interesting experience. Next I read Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I listened to this on audiobook. I'd actually watched the movie years ago and I really liked it and I realized that I'd never read the book and I read some things in the reviews that this is definitely a book to be listened to and so I thought it would be a great audiobook experience and it was. Water for Elephants is incredible. I, I mean I love circus stuff. I've always really loved circus stuff and so I already knew that I was probably gonna like it but I just thought it was great. I love the um, the switching between Jacob when he's older when he's 90 or 93 uh, and then when he's younger at the circus and I loved how they had two different voice actors obviously doing older Jacob and younger Jacob and it was just so good. It was so good. So I really really highly recommend this book if you are interested at all in sort of historical carnival fiction and also really good audiobooks. And the last book that I read in July was Dancing in My Nutty Pants, Confessions of George Nicholson number four by Louise Renison. This book was also good. It was, you know, your standard George Nicholson book. I really like that we are sort of getting into the point where I don't remember 
every book like word for word because I reread the first couple books a million times and I don't think that I read the later books quite as many times and so some of the things in this book actually surprised me which was nice and I also never read the final final book so I'm very excited to finish this reread and just see where this series that I love so much as a child ends up. So I'm editing this video already and I realized that I totally forgot to mention that I also read Armada by Ernest Cline this month. I hadn't marked it off yet on Goodreads and I was looking at my Goodreads reading challenge for the year and so I just I just totally forgot even though I finished this book like two days ago. So this is the second book by Ernest Cline. He also wrote Ready Player One. This book just came out. I got the arc at BEA and I had only just read it. There was a lot of hype around this book. It had very large shoes to fill and it fell a little flat for me. I'm not gonna lie, I did not enjoy reading this book very much. I actually, even though I have the arc, listened to the audiobook because I wanted to hear Will Wheaton read it. And I don't know, maybe if you're like really into like flight simulator, like strategic war games, you would like this book more than I did. But I found it to be very dull and I found it to be predictable and then also I found a lot of elements of the story to be extremely unbelievable. Like it was fun, it was a fun story, but I just like in my heart could not get myself to believe that the things were happening were things that could actually happen and so that was a bit of a roadblock for me. I think that there are definitely people who would enjoy this more than I did. I'm reading now the fifth Georgia Nicholson book, Away Laughing on a Fast Camel. I'm not very far into this one. These are just kind of what I read on the side when I need a little break from whatever I'm currently reading or need to read something between books to kind of help me get over a book hangover. So I'm hoping that I finish all ten by the end of the year. I also started reading the Chaos Walking Trilogy and I am on book one, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is one of the books for the Restricted Section book club, which is my book club, which I will, as always, link below if you want to be involved with reading books with me. But this book is amazing. I'm only like 130 pages into it and I was actually really hoping that I'd finish this in July, but no dice. It's not happening. So I'm going to be reading this book in August and I hope that I'll get the other two and read those in August because I love it. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about today. If you actually finished the Georgia Nicholson series, let me know your thoughts. No spoilers, but just like your, your general thoughts on where it went. Otherwise, I'm going to keep reading those and hopefully read more books in August. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.